Crystal just leave? What the hell is going on with her? David Hayward. That's what. Yeah, Crystal? Yes, it's me. I've got her, Tad. Okay. How is she? She all right? She okay? She's perfect. I'm bringing her home right now. Okay. Crystal found her. <clears throat> oh, thank God. Did she say how? No, we didn't get into it. So do you think that... The... How else would she have gotten to Kathy so quickly? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, wait a minute, no. If Hayward did have something to do with kidnapping my daughter, he, after everything he, he said... He will go to jail for the rest no, of his life. that's not good enough. It's not good enough for me, okay? He's cost me enough. He had something to do with this. He didn't deserve a life. Oh, man, is it really you? Oh, Are you okay? Let me look at you, all right? Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, God. Daddy. It's okay, baby. It's all right. I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, listen, do me a favor. Why don't you go in the living room for just a second with your Aunt Angie, okay? Yes. Where was she? Where? Don't you mean thank you? Thank you? What, for dragging her into Hayward's warped little world? No, I don't mean thank you at all. God, you got to be kidding me. You both talk to him. You know David Hayward has nothing to do with this. Well, right now I find it hard to believe. Really? Okay, why don't you ask your daughter then, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, a ask her what happened. Hey, sweet girl. Why don't you tell us what happened to you? Daddy and Crystal were yelling, so I got scared, so I ran away. Where'd you go, sweetie? To see the boats. And that's when Amanda found me and gave me cookies. You're satisfied? Not even close. Oh, my God, I cannot believe this. You cannot blame everything under the sun on David Award. Oh, maybe not, but he owns this. How? What do you mean, how? How can you ask me that? None of it would have happened. I mean, none of it, if you hadn't hooked up with that low life in the first place. If Hayward didn't have anything to do with this, then why'd you go tearing out of here like a bat out of hell? I was sick of sitting around here doing nothing, Tad, so I went to look for her myself. Oh, just like that? You didn't get some kind of tip, some kind of anonymous phone call? When are you going to let it go? You're going to have to be a little more specific. Your hatred for David, it, it rules up. your just life. Just like that. After everything yes, he's done to me, you expect me to right. walk away, let bygones be bygones. Why not? Because... This isn't a schoolyard, and we're not a couple of kids duking out in a sandlot, okay? He didn't steal my lunch. He stole my wife. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, I was wondering when Dixie was going to come up. I was talking about you. Don't bring Dixie into this. She's always in this, Tad. And that's why you won't forgive David, not because he has me, but because he had her. That's enough. No, I, I might have been a decent substitute, but I can never live up to the real thing. Isn't that right, I Tad? said that's you enough. You have Dixie on a pedestal so high, nobody can touch her. How am I supposed to compete with that, Tad? You're not supposed no. to compete with that. No more fighting! I hate it when they yell. I know, I know, sweetie, it's okay. Forgive me, okay? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry too, honey. I, I really didn't mean to get so upset. I guess we were, we were both so worried about you, all that, that nervous energy's got to go somewhere. Tell you what, why don't y'all put that all on hold for tonight, huh? Well, I can go one better than that. I'm sorry. Me too. I mean it. You found her, and you brought her home. So let me just say what I should have said the minute you walked through that door. Thank you. <laughs>